we have Gene Masamoto versus Dan Argetta. And this is going to be a matchup at the Bantamweight division. Gene Masamoto is 14-0. and He's 5-0 in his last five. And he's actually coming off a Dana White Contender Series decision win. So this will be his UFC debut facing off against Dan Argetta, 9-1. and He's coming off two straight no contests. So, um, yeah, I mean, he lost his last fight against Malice John, but Malice John's, I think, popped for uh, some Adderall or something like that. So he's actually coming off a loss. But before that, he came off a win, and then he had a premature uh, stoppage against Ronnie Lawrence there. So he's actually one-on-one -on -one in his kind of last two. We look for the odds for this fight. We have Gene opened up at plus 120, and now he's a minus 185. So, um, yeah, interesting odds right there. I I'm seeing a lot of love for uh, Dan Argetta, um, and honestly, I, I don't I don't see it myself. Um, I, I think that I'm going to side with Mazumoto in this matchup. And the reason why is, you know, at, at first glance, right, this may seem like a, another striker versus grappler matchup. However, I believe that Mazumoto is well-rounded and he is as good a striker as he is a grappler. I think this is actually going to be a bad matchup for Dan. Dan, he's a very one-dimensional kind of guy, a one-trick pony, in my opinion. He's a very high-paced pressure grappler, and if he cannot get his game going, he just has very little else to offer, especially on the feet. So I think Mazamoto will be the better striker in this matchup, and I believe that he has enough in the toolbox in the grappling department to threaten Dan with takedowns himself and then slick subs as well. I mean, I, we saw what happened last time that Dan Argetta faced another well-rounded fighter in Miles Johns, someone who could strike and then also grapple and wrestle. So I think that the only concern that I have will be that Mazumoto, he fights on his back at times. So if Dan takes him down, he might be willing to play on the bottom position. And this is going to be his UFC debut. So those are the only two concerns I have in this matchup. Other than that, I think that Mazumoto will be able to keep up with the cardio department because he doesn't get tired in the later rounds like Miles Johns did. I'm going with Mazumoto via decision. I'm just going to hold off for now just because of those two concerns that I had, but I will monitor the line for a potential price or entry because opened up at a plus 120, you know, became a two to one favorite. Now he's a minus 185. So. Maybe we can get a little better price on him. I might consider it, but just with those two concerns, I, I think that I'm just going to hold off for now.